Specific surface area is the most important property of a nano material. We usually measure specific surface area in a unit of meter square for gram. Generally, surface area is measured in meter square unit. But here, specific means specific, it's not general surface. We take one gram of a symbol and we want to know how much surface area is covered. Let's take the example of a graphene. Let's suppose graphene has a specific surface area of 1000 meters square. This, this simply means that we take one gram of a graphene. This means we take one gram of a graphene. Right? Let's make it more clear. We take one gram of a graphene and we spread it on a surface. Surface, like surface. And when we measure that surface, the area of that surface was 1000 meter. This means that the length of that area is 1000 meter. 1000 meter length is very huge. Similarly, the breadth or width of that area is also 1000 meter. This is how a small amount spread across very large surface. So this means that if we have higher surface, more reactions, more reactivity, specifically good for catalysis, right? If we have less surface area, mean less reactions, right? So I will explain here uh, the basic uh, and also I will talk about the applications, how we measure and what are the limitations. And moreover, if you are capable to measure the volume of your sample, so you just divide the uh, surface area and volume here, so you will also have the unit in meter inverse. This is also the unit of specific surface area, but this is most common one here, right? Because of this uh, property of a uh, nanomaterial, uh, you can see here that I just uh, got this from one report that uh, 1300 uh, commercial products basically using nanomaterial. This is a very uh, huge number and it's growing. Why it's growing? Because of the extraordinary properties of a nanomaterial, which one of them is specific surface area. Right? We use basically this BET technique which is very very common, the three scientists name here, uh, they developed this method, nitrogen based uh, adsorption method and because of this method we usually get the specific surface area of material, we also get the pore size and pore volume. Once we get the pore size here, the size, the pore size here and then volume is easy because volume is basically, you know, if the material is, if the material is basically uh, spherical, a sphere. So once we have the size, the size means the diameter or the radius, then we can easily calculate the volume. And the system is also giving mathematically, right? So this is, we use BET technique to uh, measure uh, the specific surface area. Huge applications, I will only list few. The cement industry and concrete basically also helpful to understand the, uh, to, to know the help from BET because they want to know what are the force basically, the concrete, you know, the condensedness the concreteness mean uh, whether the the sample is concrete mean condensed or not. If we if they have more force, so uh, it will be if you apply stress, so that cause problem. So in cement industry, concrete industry, very applicable this uh, specific surface area adsorption applications. I is explained catalysis reactions and surfaces here. We also pore size and pore volume. There are there there is a limitation of this technique. BT. Very few reported mention this. We usually uh, measure solid, solid objects uh, with this uh, uh, technique. And liquid, we cannot apply this for liquid in collide resolution. Collide resolution means that if we have here solute here particle, and if we have here this water or liquid, this is we call collide, like the case of milk here or some other juice etc that is basically a uh, colloidal solutions so for colloidal solution and for liquid uh, we uh, cannot apply this very important pre-transition technique BET uh, which is used for uh, to uh, find the specific surface area which is very helpful technique for your thesis writing and for your 